folks, Saturday night. Welcome aboard Murder Hobo Week, the one shot uh, edition. Thanks for joining us. Uh, you know, it's a hot night. You got nothing better to do. So, you know, we understand we're near the bottom of the barrel, but we're going to entertain you for two hours. Anyway, follow us on Twitch, follow us on Twitter, take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to shoot the shit about DD, join our Discord. If you want to buy our cool crap like phone case or this shirt or I don't know, duvet cover, sure. throw pillow, that shirt. The new cred shirt. The new cred shirt. Which is freaking yeah. dull. Came out so good. So nice. dull. The link, the link is down there somewhere. Uh, most importantly, if you want to join us on a one shot like tonight yeah. or on the talk show on Tuesday nights, hit us up, M Hobo Inc., Twitter, Gmail. Uh, we'll do our best. We'll get you on there. Uh, just like David, uh, first time <laughs> for him. He was at Murder Hobo Con, but uh, he hadn't been here yet. So. Uh, trial by fire, and of course, Kaylee. This is her third. You know what that means? Uh, she's a cultist now. She's uh, one of us, and she's gonna get some swag. One so one of us, one, one of, of us. us. So you show up three times, you get some cool swag, moderately cool swag, whatever. Uh, also, uh, let's not forget our sponsors, uh, Pirate Dog Dice. Uh, if you want some custom made dice, check them out at Twitter at Pirate Dog Dice. Uh, they come in a variety of shapes and colors, and even Carol has a full set, which was uh, quite extensive. Uh, and then again, if oh, you're I'm actually, that's not it. I don't unlike, have like, unlike ours, ours smells like success and victory. Uh, but if your game stinks, try some Adventure Scents from oddfishgames.com. We have a plethora of scents, including putrid sewers, which made Kyle gag, choke, and nearly die uh which was a hilarious moment in murder hobo ink history uh they also have something called the shine system so if you want to learn how to write gooder than me check that mm -hmm. out it uh, is a guide to go ahead and help you out uh finally their how to rpg with your cat kickstarter uh is going live oh, real that. soon uh so keep an eye out on twitter and at oddfishgames.com for that if you're going to Gen Con and you've got a few spare hours to kill, uh, they could use a little help in their booth. So check it out. They'll uh, pay you or give you a cool swag. So, you know, it's a win-win for you. Uh, that wraps it up for it's the work. informative portion of our show. Let's go ahead and introduce you to the players that will go ahead and entertain you uh, for the next two hours, starting at the bottom of my screen. Carol, you're up first. Who are you? Who are you playing? Hi, everyone. My name is Carol. I'm a longtime gamer, occasional GM, and commissioned mini painter who recently, well, a couple months ago, started a mini painting Twitch stream on Muses underscore score touch. My, um, they bet. I stream on Saturdays at 12.30 p.m. Eastern, Mondays at 7 o'clock, and Wednesdays at 8.30. Actually, all times are p.m. Eastern. So, uh, and let's see, where else do you find me? I'm on the Cred campaign, which is bi-weekly Thursday nights. Uh, and it's awesome. Although I don't know what we're doing this week because I'm going to be away this week. So I don't know if there, I think there might be a one shot in the works. I'm just going to die. What? <laughs> nice. Um, and I think that's, oh, who am I playing tonight? Dude, I'm playing Rain Bathory, uh, uh, my other grave cleric. Because sadly, Luna Hades is dead. I don't believe there was any sadness whatsoever in her dying. <laughs> None whatsoever. Oh, not by the person that killed her. So that's true. Next that was the up. ultimate murder hobo. Ultimate murder hobo. That's true. Kaylee, you're up next. Who are you? Who are you playing? Me. Um, I'm Kaylee. I'm the social media manager for Raven and Riddle Dice. You can check us out at Raven and Riddle on Twitter and Raven and Riddle on. Uh, and Instagram, and believe it or not, TikTok. And you can also find us on Facebook at Raven and Riddle. Right now, we have some amazing limited edition dice in our shop, which you can find at www.ravenandriddle.com. Tonight, there, I will be there. playing <laughs> nice. the Kenku Fighter, Psy Warrior. God's help us all. Wow. Uh, Rob, same questions, different answers, I assume. I hope so. Uh, I'm Rob. Um, you can find me on Twitter at Cthulhu Rob, and you can find me on Twitch, Murder Hobo Inc., on Saturday's Calamity A or B campaign, and on numerous uh, one shots. And tonight I'm playing Bazael, which is my Warlock Tiefling. Went with Pact of the Blade for third level. Wow. 
Uh, David, last but not least, uh, tell us about yourself. Tell us about your character. Yeah, um, my fiance and I have a small online store where we sell geeky stuff like all the pops you see behind me. Those are all for sale if you want to buy any of them. You can find us at thatgeekgallery.com. And uh, we, uh, we sell lots of geeky stuff, not only pops, but tons of comics and other figures or um, other whatever you could imagine. I'm also an artist. I, I paint, uh, paint acrylics, and I'm also learning to master this funky drawing tablet that I'm no good at yet, but <laughs> I'm learning. So today I'll be playing uh, uh, a level three bard whose name is Desingio because I'm really bad at coming up with character names. And so I'll be playing this. I've been playing d d since around the late 1970s. Um, been playing fifth edition for about 10 years now. So that's me. You will not have any problems tonight after you kill these other three. I'm sure that it will Gee. be smooth sailing. Uh, that can folks, be two grave clerics put in the grave. Wham. Folks, as these guys have pointed out, they are at third level. If you saw the intro, they are headed towards a big metropolitan area of who gives a shit Stan. Uh, but in the meantime, it's been raining for three solid days. And as these guys travel over land over a high hill, uh, they notice that part of the hill has been washed away, exposing some uh, masoned stones. Uh, each of these four individuals are high enough level to recognize a dungeon when they see it. However, it is 20 feet below on sodden ground. Ah, uh, well, folks, did I wet your whistle enough? Are you interested in going into this dungeon uh, that's probably no. never been explored? No, and we're going to derail. Going? We're going to derail this right away. That's fine. There's a pit fiend about 300 <laughs> yards ahead, I guess. Probably a short <laughs> game tonight. Yeah. No. Yeah, we'll, we'll, uh, well, I'll, I guess I will bite the plot hook and head into the dungeon. Yeah, I mean, what obstruction is there to entering the dungeon? Uh, 20 dungeon. foot descent. <laughs> 15 is looking cut. No, I'm just kidding. Should we like tie a rope so we can get out? <laughs> There's yeah. the old schooler right there. You, you know, I, you know, I feather know fall is not a warlock spell. So, um, yeah, I have. And click, I, click, I think you're uh, 50 foot of Mike rope cutting out. Oh, there you go. It's only 20 foot drop. Uh, you want to d12 against me to see if there's anything sturdy enough to lash it to? Oop, not with that one. It went on the floor. Uh, nine. Two. Uh, yeah, there's an old dead tree right there. I will lash my rope around that old dead tree and drop it over the edge. Give me a survival roll. Let's check your not ability. Oh, I, I'm actually pretty good at that. Um, sure you are until you roll. <laughs> yeah, I, I do you rolled, want guide? Do you want I rolled guidance? A sixteen. Oh, and nine three is, is the nineteen. Oh, there you go. Yeah, you're absolutely one hundred percent positive without a question, able to knock that thing. Now, keeping in mind, Kenkus can't fly. Uh, I wonder if they can climb. Who wants to climb down first to this totally non creepy dungeon entrance? Yeah, it's yeah, totally it. it's totally safe for a tiny tiefling's weight. Okay. Uh Desingio, uh give me a survival roll. He's to sing it, yo. Survival to climb? I I'll take see somebody I'll, die. It's well, I mean, if you want to see somebody die, you make it a a athletics, and I die because I don't have any athletics, but you have you know, I rolled a natural <laughs> 20. athletics. I rolled a natural 20. Uh, Sinjio is apparently the no rock. Uh, you go in, there's a small alcove here, so only the exterior covering has washed away. Uh, Desingio, you look quickly around. You've got enough space for your three companions. You can lean out, give them the old wave down, uh, and you can start to dry off. Uh, who wants to go down second? Go ahead. So what was the roll again? Uh, survival. Survival. Today. Okie dokie. Um, 13. 
13. Easily. Uh, the Kenku uh, swirls down. You can step into the alcove, the no light alcove, uh, and you can also shake off your feathers. Uh, Bazel or Rain? Do you want to go or do you want me to go? Oh, go ahead. Okay. I said I'm pretty well armored. So if anything bad happens up here, I don't think I have any spells, though. That will help. Heal. <laughs> I have gu I have guidance, so I'm probably going to cast on myself. You go ahead, Bizelle. Do you want guidance, uh, Bizelle? No. Okay. I'll go, though. Uh, that's going to be a 21. Yep. Easily down. Last but not least, rain. Okay, so you said survival, and it's not that's good though because it means I got a better chance. I got a better chance, and I'm going to cast my guidance on myself, and I'm going to roll like shit because that's what I do in this game. Oh Jesus Christ! I rolled a pair of twos, which is seven. <laughs> seven. Uh, you hit a rock on the way down. <laughs> My dice. Four maximum damage. Four? Okay, that's yep. awful. Uh, you feel a Better slight sprain in your ankle. Uh, you're going to be a little bit hobby knobby tonight, but uh, eh. other than that, it's just four hit points. Uh, you guys are all uh, in the alcove now. Obviously, uh, Desingio and um, uh, we're able to dry off the fastest. Uh, ahead of you, is a bronze door. I uh, really should have taken Pact of the Tome. Then I could have prestidigitation. Woulda, coulda, shoulda, tough shit. Uh, this bronze door looks very old, and uh, without even rolling, you guys notice... Ah, shit. There's no hinges, and there's no doorknob. <laughs> you aren't sure how to open this thing. Uh, also, give me uh, religion checks, please. I don't need to be proficient in religion, I said. It's a dungeon dive, I said. Uh, 11. Six. It's not great roll either. I'm going to try and... I, I rolled cast. 20. Oh, very nice. Uh, uh, plus one, someone here 21. Was, someone was paying here during his Sunday school classes. Uh, Bazile looks at it and Bazille, says... Negative plus, I got a natural one minus one. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> this, 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 this is the cred crew all over again. Uh, but, Shut but, you know, up. Uh, uh, a name comes to mind uh, as you look over the uh, etchings inside this bronze door, and that name is uh, Orcus. <laughs> what? I've I don't even a need to make a check to Never mind. know that. You're third level. You don't know shit, apparently. <laughs> uh, Bazile, uh, you know, uh, most of us know the backstory on Orcus. Uh, and we so, since I read, read and speak Abyssal and Infernal, it'll probably be pretty... <clears throat> pretty straightforward to you. Yep. Uh, but yep. again, oh, you good. know how to open this door. I'm going to... Suggestions. I'm going to... to um, use my action to summon my packed weapon a long, slender, dark, black rapier. Uh, and then I'm going to tap on the door and say in Infernal, open up, motherfucker. D12 against me. Nine. The door opens. <laughs> what? That was really well, the You bad see, word. I wanted a pokey thing, so I asked Fiend Daddy, and Fiend Daddy gave me a pokey thing, and it has more than one use. I'm Shall sure we? That, I'm sure that uh, your patron doesn't mind you going in here. As the door opens, all four of you notice uh, great big spider webs pull forth, indicating that the door has been shut for an extensive period of time. Doesn't creak. Uh, but you surmise that the hinges are on the inside. Uh, as the door opens, a set of hewn stone steps goes down, down, down. Who wants to be first? Because this is a five-foot 
uh, narrow tunnel. So totally not me. Where's so, the meat shield back? Yeah, I was, I was gonna say, I believe the meat shield is a kinku. No. He's going to stand up and say, let that be light. Good idea. Okay. Do you just I don't uh, care either way. You have the spell or are you torching it? I, I'm just saying <laughs> that, that was a suggestion. Uh, I do not have light as a spell, actually. All right. Never had a need I for it. To see if anyone produces something. Folks at home, they were told it was a dungeon dog. Apparently, uh, nobody brought a big lighter. Honestly, I probably have, I have dark my vision. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll pass torches out. So. Yeah, I was going to say, I've got torches. So, I mean, and a tinderbox. So, I light a torch. So, no, Desinio well. says he's got dark vision. Do you want him to go first? Because if he's anywhere in the middle or in the back, that dark vision is going to be useless. Get the or, gone devil. Say again. Get the gone devil. <laughs> well, before right. I go first, I'm the devil. I'm going to say to everybody, hey, I'm a bard. I'm going to give bardic inspiration to all of you guys. You Actually, all get a die six. That only leave lasts 10 minutes. Whenever you want. Well, wait. You're dead in nine, so. That, <laughs> you can give it to all of Oh, I'm yes. curious about this. It's a song. Everybody that hears the song has a oh, uh, one die six I mean, bonus that they can use at like what is it? I think you have to declare you're going to use it ahead of yeah. time. Yeah, crap like mm -hmm. that. But you all now have an extra die six. One time, one time only. Uh, Bar, yeah, are you going to lead them down? Them okay. Are you going to lead them down? Sure, I'll go down first since I have uh, the dark vision. Am I the only person here? I'll follow immediately. Hey, I'm, 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 playing the a, I'm playing a human, so yeah, I don't have dark oh, vision. Quietly. <laughs> uh, Desigio, you all go walk, walk down the stairs slowly and serendipitously, I assume. Peek around the corner to the left. Uh, your dark vision reveals no signs of life. Uh, whatsoever. This is almost total darkness except for the flickering torchlights behind you. So I'll give you a little insight on this. There are faded murals along both sides of the walls. Your earlier uh, checks, uh, your religion checks, uh, revealed that you do not know what this deity is except for the fact that Bazile has mentioned Orcus. Uh, as you go down, <clears throat> excuse me, down the tunnel, uh, let me get there. A uh, short set of stone steps lead to the side of the hill and dump you, lead you down uh, the into the passageway, which is five feet wide. Irregularly shaped flagstones form the floor while the sides of the tunnel have been worked smooth. Faded paintings show scenes of perverse religious acts with a bestial horned deity with wings. Uh, Bazil can go. It, 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 Seen it, it, it done it. it. That's Orcus right there. Uh, and these extend all the way down. Uh, the Singio, uh, it's about how, how far does your dark vision go? 16 feet, I think. Uh, right at the edge of your dark vision, uh, you see, I believe, a slight blue light. Uh, this is an old Kmart, uh, so there may be some <laughs> valuable things at the end. Uh, let me see. Yes, First, there'd they, be a Kmart in an Orcus temple. <clears throat> no, it is not blue. It is just faded light. Uh, so not a daylight. So it's a target. Light. Target. It's a target. Uh, <laughs> or, or it's a Dollar General with a lot of missing lamps. Uh, as you walk down the tunnel, did you want to do anything special? Uh, form up, tell everybody to stay back, do do recon, anything like that. You're okay, fine. well, uh, so everybody's followed me, or are they staying back? Well, well up to actually, what do you, too. I say, what did you want us to do? Did you want us to stay back so you could scout in silence, or did you want us to go with you? 
I'm not because we, really we do out. whatever we would do whatever you, you'd like. You guys, I just went first. I thought you were right behind me. Okay, but if you're blind, that's another thing. No, anyway, we've got, we got like, torches. I'm not blind. About sixty feet down, there seems to be some slight light that I can make out in the distance. Okay. Tally ho. We'll go. March, 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 we go. March, march. Uh, Don't trip, guys. Uh, it's fine. Alone, give me a perception check. Perception? Um, hold on. Three. Yay. <laughs> uh, Bazil, you're up second. Give me a perception check. Uh, let, let me let me really quick here add three to that and make it 11 ah. <laughs> neither one of you wow the uh flagstone depress a little bit uh, oh, nor shit. do you hear the whoosh of a blade as it comes out about <gasps> six inches off the ground and cuts across the hallway uh, delivering 2d8 worth of damage. What? To the leader oh, of the pack. Oh. No. For 10 damage. Uh, so now oh, both shit. of you have limps. <laughs> you and Rain are all uh, gimpy yeah. right now yeah. with uh, bad ankles. Uh, Bazil, uh, click, click, and Rain, you hear him yell. <laughs> Oh. Do you need healing? Do you, uh, you could help. Yeah. <laughs> do you do you have healing? It actually, it went from the front. Not anyway. I can. Yeah. Let me. Let me. I don't have a ton of spell slots because we're what third level, but uh, I have three. Wow. <laughs> I have four first level spell slots and two second level. Uh. All right. I'll do a first level spell slot. I've got two spell level. slots. Cure wounds. Oh, D eight. D sixes. D P K. D P K. Uh, that was it. Great. Uh, seven points back. Oh, great. So that'll help. I think. Uh, I guess we now, better now, watch out for traps second. in here. Are you, are you climbing forward <laughs> through yep. the tunnel? Uh, yeah. Give me a perception check. Okay. Yeah, I have to climb up there to get to him. If he need, he said he needed help. So. Well, I, 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 Duck aside, I am small enough. Jesus <laughs> Christ, my dice won't even roll above a freaking 10 again. Uh, what was that perception? Well, it's an 11, so at least that's above a 10. <laughs> the total is. I almost with, never mind moving back into formation. With God, the, with the advantage of the zeal stepping back, you do not step on the flagstone uh, that the Singio did. Oh, he so, didn't point it out? <laughs> Uh, he rolled a three in case you were. No, attention. but he's, but he would. I would assume he would have felt it go. Oh yeah, down. It's a depression. Yeah, so down. you know he, what? You he's know looking up with a three, and it cut him down. So I would uh, say he helped. So you, uh, Private Ryan, your way up there, give him some healing. Uh, Desingio, do you want to warn everybody that hey, I think I might have stepped on something back there? Don't don't step here, guys. Don't step here. <laughs> Thanks for the uh, warning now. The no. D12 against me. I don't have a can of fluorescent spray paint. I have chalk. <clears throat> Wait, who rolled who rolled D12 against you? You rolled a Let's seven. Okay. A seven? The Singio points at a uh, rather squarish looking flat piece of stone. He feels that that might be the trigger point. Uh, Rain, you have already bypassed it. I the saw zero. her. Yeah, wait, I saw her, right? Uh, so no. so I pointed out. <laughs> you no, you saw the blade. <laughs> oh, I saw the blade. Wait, so well, it didn't reset, right? You don't know. Well, I saw the blade. So is it up here or is it like down no, here? No, it's it's back in the like, wall. So it reset. Well, well maybe. Shine. Uh anyway, Rain and Desingio, you are past it, presumably. Or past this one, I will say. Past something. Uh, Bazile, you step back to take number three. And uh, click, click, you are number four. So click, click, or Bazile, which one wants to confirm that Desingio was right? Oh, I'll go for it. Are you going to 
Step on the plate or avoid the plate? I'm going to avoid the plate. D12 against me. Oh, wait. There it is. 11. Uh, Bazil steps lightly, uh, kind of does the hippie jump, uh, hoping that he won't get his leg sliced off, and he does not. Uh, that leaves click click. Uh, tiny hoops. You're standing there. You saw what Bazile did. It seemed to work for him. You hope it's not a timing thing. You ready to make the leap of faith? Mm-hmm, I'll do it. Are you going to step on the square that Desingio pointed out or avoid that? Like I'm going to avoid that because it seems to be working. D12. Uh, you land a little bit short and you hear a click. Uh-oh. Uh, no blade? All right, the click is really loud in this, this old place. Uh, Desingio, you can... <laughs> Gather a tick, hoping that you don't have like a spear trap coming through your skull or something. Oh, thanks. So far, uh, nothing is going on. Say again. The builder was clearly an asshole. Well, if this is a temple of Orcus, that's probably likely. <clears throat> Desingio, you're feeling a whole lot better since Rain gave you the love and touch. Uh, ahead of you is still the <laughs> Dimly lit uh, chamber. <clears throat> okay, so uh, we continue towards the. Are we dimly in the, the lit light chamber? Or are we in the dimly chamber? Uh, the dimly chamber is ahead of you, about twenty feet. Okay, I. You don't have to go first if you do not wish. If you got, still got one of those torches. Yeah, they have three of them. What? Yeah, we're all set okay, to torches. Give me one of those torches. You don't have to light it. <laughs> oh, uh, I probably have another one in my inventory. Let me see what I've got here. Quick, quick, uh, what were you saying? No, it's just one torch. So <laughs> I hand it to you that's already lit. I take a torch and I start prodding the flagstones in front of me to see oh, if anything done. happens. Oh, no, I get sure. quantity three. I uh, give you an unlit torch. D12 against me, Desingio. Six. Click number two. No blade. Some fine dust falls from the ceiling. Everybody hears the click. Nothing seems to be happening. Don't step on that. <laughs> Fair enough. Fine. You think you're about five feet away from the chain. All right. So we slowly slowly I turn to see step by step detect any more traps. Sure. Uh, you do not. Nothing else clicks uh, as you reach the doorway. It is an arch doorway covered in religious iconography. The zeal, it's orcas crap. Inside the room, yeah, the singio, demons. there is a uh, shelving unit with books, scrolls, and parchments to the high left. Books, scrolls, and parchments on another shelf high right. Archway, archway, but dead in front of you in this 30 by 30 foot room with a curved roof or ceiling uh, is what can best be described as a totem. Uh, it looks a lot like the religious creature in the hallway. It's got big wings. It, it's got, you know, a horned head uh, and it's carrying a, a nice little uh, uh, rod with a skull on it. Uh, it looks quite menacing. The light, the dim light, is in the ceiling just above this totem's head. Uh, everybody give me a perception check. Okay. Uh, 19. Oh, there we go. That is a 20. I can't add. 22. 
I only five. got <laughs> two fives, a 19, and a 22. Yeah. Uh, Desingio and Click Click, you, uh, I don't know, you're, you're fixated on something. Uh, Bazil and Rain, uh, A, uh, it smells like something's rotting in here. B, there's, mm -hmm. there's very, very slight air movement just kind of swirling through this room. Uh, Desingio, do you want to go in? Hold on one sec. Um, you said it smells like something's rotting in here? Yep. Just as a precaution, and it's open, so I want to use Eyes of the Grave which sure. allows me to find any undead within 60 feet that isn't behind total cover and that isn't protected from divination uh, magic. Zero. Okay. Just making sure it could just be something else is rotting. Sure. Right. Yeah, so right. they're just That's hidden by divination. Uh, Desingio, you're leading this pack. What do you want to do? It's okay. clear. Uh, um, I walk towards the one of the bookshelves of books and scrolls. Left or right? Left. Fair enough. Uh, second one in is Click Click. What do you want to do? Or I'm sorry, Rain is second. My apologies. Oh, yeah, that's right. We, we, our whole <laughs> order is like completely shot now. Yep. Uh, so what were the choices of what I could look for? Bookshelf with crap on it. Bookshelf with crap on it. Uh, totem. Doorway. Doorway. Right-hand bookshelf with crap on it. Fair enough. I like books. Uh, Bazile, I think you're third now. Um, how big is this totem? Uh, it stands all the way to the ceiling. It is almost 30 feet tall. Uh, okay. Uh, I'm going to step through the door and then kind of just to the left and kind of lean against the wall and observe. Sure. But no, again, uh, click, click. How about you? Well, I mean, given my z given my perception roll and my zero on religion, she's admiring all this lovely abstract. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe pull out a sandwich too. I mean, you know, <laughs> you know, you got nothing else to do. The, I mean, the demon fucking iconography <clears throat> is definitely a plus. <laughs> wow, uh, Bazil, give me a survival roll to make sure you didn't uh, lean on into a uh, trigger. Fifteen. Oh, please tell me you did that. Fair, fair enough. Uh, no stone slide as uh, Captain Lazy leans in. Uh, Desingio, we will start with you. You've opted to go to the bookshelf on the upper left. Uh, let's see. There are a great number of thick, dusty tomes, uh, scrolls, and loose parchment here. Uh, the writing utensils, the feathers and the inkwells, are dried and dusty and otherwise useless. So Desingio, do you want to look at books? Scrolls, uh, um, or loose leaf parchments or none of the above? I'm going to cast Comprehend Languages, which oh, lasts yeah. for one hey, hour. You're screwed. <laughs> OK, uh -oh. you cast Comprehend Languages. Uh, same choices apply. Tomes, scrolls, or loose parchment. Okay, so now that I've cast Comprehend Languages on, on myself, I'm going to start looking at various books and scrolls to see if I can glean any kind of identification <clears throat> from them. Do you want to start with the books? Or okay, the scrolls? books. Books. Books? Uh, the books... Uh, tend to give off complex religious expectations. It's more of an accountant's guide to religion, for lack of a better terminology. Uh, it shows the ins and outs of uh, this cult. Um, let me get you a name. My apologies. I forgot to write it down beforehand. It's the cult of not personality. It's uh, Oh, the Priests of Shadows. Shadows. Mm -hmm. That's lovely. And I take it it's in some orcus language or some crap like that. It's in oh. the infernal. Infernal. Oh, I have Great. a pistol. See, Great. I took the wrong language. I, oh. I, I know Sylvan. Yeah, way, way wrong language. Uh, that is the upper left. We will come back to you. Upper right is rain. Uh, again, book scrolls and loose parchments, dried inkwells. 
uh, crappy feathers. Uh, pretty much a duplication of what the Desing Desingio is looking at. I'll start with scrolls. Scrolls, very nice. Yep. Uh, D12 against me. <laughs> uh, oh, five. Give me a percentage roll, uh, other David. <laughs> What do you mean, other David? Why are you going to pick on David's for percentage rolls, man? Uh, uh, other David in Calamity sucks. You mean Dave? Yeah, why'd you pick such? You pick that name when there's a David in the group. Gets all sorts of. I, I can call him Crow. <laughs> percentage roll? Oh, what did I just do? What's your percentage roll? Wait, I thought you he was making it, not me. No, you are. Oh, I thought you said I, I'm he making, was making fun of it. David from the Calamity. Oh, so sorry. I get confused. Uh well, I rolled O2. Uh, this percentage is, roll? If this was hey, look, bo, hey, hey, it depends on what system. If this was Cthulhu, well, if, if it was <laughs> If it was cred, oh, it would be flipping phenomenal. Oh, if it was to figure God. out what percentage of the village died, it would be pretty good too. But oh eighty-nine happened. God. Usually, usually the low. Usually, I don't um, remember which one it was in second ed. I have to look up the uh, what the confines of this non-spell problem is. Oh shit! And you have to roll me a. Oh, two would have been freaking uh, fantastic. Roll me a d ten. Uh, we're all gonna so die. I want ten. We're all seven. He's using some sort of rand. It's it's a random chart. He's got he must have a random table there. <laughs> you are uh, so, I'm such a, I'm gonna say you're a dick. Aren't laugh. You? Uh, PM coming in for you. Uh, Me? I'm, click, I'm, uh, what so did I just do? lose another character of mine? To something, either dead. You're not dead yet. I haven't seen the message. You've been possessed by a demonic quick, quick. force. What? what are you doing? Oh, that's that's amusing. Is this the character you made with Twitter? <laughs> click, click. Uh, you're up. What did you want to do? <coughs> oh. Wait, who's up? You are. <laughs> um, we have given complete religious disregard. Uh. Is gonna start climbing the totem. Nice. Give me a perception check. Excellent. And an acrobatics check. This is what I was waiting for. That is a dirty 20 on perception. Nice. Wait, no, 21 on perception and for acrobatics. I'm really good at that, but I only rolled a six, so it's a total of 12 on acrobatics. So as you begin your climb. Uh, you hear a scuffle and something weird to your right. As you look over, Rain turns to you with murderous rage in her eyes oh, and okay. begins You're... to attack. <laughs> so, uh, question for you. Uh, so what do, I, what do I perceive to play this out? Uh, what triggered this? Uh, the uh, item that you looked at is a cursed parchment. Okay, so what do I see? What do I see when I see? Uh, she uh, is an evil come demon. Up? Okay, all right. So I'm like, get back, you foul demon, and I'm gonna cast Sacred Flame. Sure. You're, so Tom, make... you're Tom Hanks imagining everybody as the bad guy yep. in uh, Mazes and Monsters. All right, so uh, make a dexterity save. Click, click. Wow. Okay. I, I, I was like, I gotta see how this is gonna go. I and, and I was like, I'm gonna attack like uh, this is an enemy, isn't it? Guess I gotta roll a die. So sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna die now. I'm gonna lose my other um, so fucking card. That would be 15 on the deck save on the deck saving throw. Yay! And me as a player, I'm actually very happy you made it because my deck save would be a 13. So you make it and you avoid. You avoid the gout of flame that comes from my hand. Now, aren't you directly opposite the Singio? Wow. Yeah. And once, yeah, but when you attack. And lots of books and paper. Yeah, but when you attack, 
Uh, when you attack, you're only attacking one target. You know, it doesn't go through and hit somebody else. Fair enough. Uh, last but not least this round, uh, Basile, uh, as you're uh, leaning <laughs> up like a 50s tough guy, <laughs> but, you see the murderous the rage. Yeah. But by the way, but I will, but the factory does remain, this is a place full of paper. So if you want to do something with that, I would say that's fair. Yeah. Okay, what, cool. What you going to do? It just Basile? kind of poosh. Um, wait a minute. I forgot. I'm a warlock. <laughs> okay. Um, well, I just saw rain attack, attack click click. And, and like, I don't know what's going on, but click click doesn't look like a demon to me. So basically being a fiend myself and understanding how fiend magic works, I'm going to smack rain a little and see if I can knock her out of it. Um, uh, Eldritch Blast. <laughs> That's your idea. Of I, smack I, her? I won't use my invocations. Nice. Oh, how nice of you. I'm going to assume this, what you messaged me, isn't coming into play until. Um, that's After a 19, this, right? Correct. That's a 19 to hit for that's, a total of that's gonna hit. Um, um, a nine total? points of damage. Okay. Uh, everybody roll initiative at this point in time. What wait, what why? <laughs> Just, well, because we're not gonna let we're not gonna let um our bard take an action and then the CEO has already gone this round. Oh, all right. So, all right. So, this is to determine when, yeah, when, when what you reacts. messaged. Yep. Okay. Um, my initiative thanks. is 21. Um, sadly, mine is not. My initiative is four. So, you're going to all fucking murder me before I even get to go again. Uh, quick, quick. How about you? Uh, 14. Uh, Bazil, uh, you seem to knock Rain off her game. Uh, and away from the now not climbing quick quick what would you like to do um so there's nothing really really close to me right and they're about rain and uh quick click are and the singio is <laughs> book right now. well the books are really boring um <gasps> yeah yeah um He's not the one that got hit, so you know they ain't bad either. <laughs> no, this is true. Um, no, I, I'm good. Go pass. Okay, yep. uh, that brings us to fourteen. Click, click. Uh, you about got your ass shot off uh, by Rain, who got dumped on hers by Bazile. What would you like to do? Uh... You're still about five feet up on this statue. Okay, okay, okay. Apparently, Rain doesn't want you climbing it or something. I don't know. Nobody used their words, so it's hard to say. I did say that you back off, Demon, or something like that. I said Shazam. Okay. Quick, look, I say fireball the room right now. Right here, right now. <laughs> don't even if ask. Fireball the Ground zero. Arrow if thing. click click has a has a fireball scroll. Um yeah, no, click click is going to just uh jump jump down. Oh, you guys are too right kind. on her face. Though, you guys right? are too <laughs> kind. She's going to be like, are you feeling okay? And oh, that's crap. If I were a PC, I'd be kicking the shit out of you. Right no, now. that's because this is Murder of Wink, and that's what you're used to. But no, in most I'm, normal games, this is what we play. And then, then I'm going to punch Rain in the face. There you go. That's <laughs> yes. what I was waiting for. Go, go ahead, for it. Punch her. So that's an unarmed strike with a natural 20. <laughs> Oh, 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 and this is not half because it's an intent. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, you're, you're, yep. So that's uh, that, that's a total of, of eight. Kill the cleric, kill the cleric. <laughs> eight damage. I'm so sorry. No, don't, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. The singio. Is he still reading? What we do on weekends. There's something going on behind you. What do you want to do? I'm going to cast suggestion on. at 
Yeah, I'm going to cast suggestion at the cleric. All right. What what is what am I rolling here? Uh, let me look Wiz- at this. I think it's a. It doesn't matter. It's going to work. It's a wisdom it, saving throw. It, it, it doesn't matter. I rolled so badly. It's going to work. So. So I cast suggestion. My suggestion is we are your friends. Rain. This is an interesting situation. So as you do that, indeed it is. <laughs> well, it makes it more interesting that happened. As you do that, all of a sudden she she snaps. I'm out feeling of real glad I'm leaning back against the wall, way over by the door. <sighs> you just made me use a level two spell slot. <laughs> you, you, want, yeah. you want to know what's hilarious? You snapped out of it. Yo, yeah, well, you know what's hilarious? You you didn't have to. I actually made the same. <laughs> so but regardless, Rain, you don't know that. You guys don't know that. You you I mean actually right. you two don't even know they cast suggestion. No, nope. uh, she totally does this. You got a this. bad ankle, and now you you got a oh I'm too. beat the fuck up. Uh, but at I'm least like, you're normal God. again. I'm like yeah, the, they are. You are my friends. What the. Everybody you were a demon perception. like two seconds ago. Perception. Perception. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, is going to hide her fish behind her back. <laughs> I uh, what the frick just happened? Sixteen. Uh, perception twenty-one. Six. Perception. Quick, quick. Oh boy. Um. 12. Now that they're not fighting, I'm. Click, click, the singio, rain, uh, that parchment she was reading turns to dust and floats away. Hopefully. The fucking, must have been that thing. Guys, must have don't something read bad. any of the scrolls. Don't read any of the scrolls. Do you think any of the books or anything else are going to be safer in this cursed place? Hey, rain, you got lucky on your roll. You'll have to ask me after the game. Yeah, well, I could, you, that was lucky. Could have I? Why well, I could have ended up killing myself? Uh, you could have been feeble-minded. Oh, there we go. <laughs> and out of the game. <laughs> oh, it's bad to put in something like that in a one shot. So I could sit here the rest of the night going do 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 do. Maybe uh, the peanut gallery. So we'll start back with the singio. Uh, everything Shit. seems to be calmed down. Uh, you noticed the That's scroll great. disappeared. Uh, you have uh, counseled everybody to stop reading. You still have a tome in your hand. You want to read anymore? That's, I don't want to read anymore. Fair enough. Uh, okay, you guys, uh, you're in the middle. Rain's cleaned up the blood. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm, ca- I'm, ca- I'm put a casting heal on myself. Is- there you go. 11 plus, I'm doing Cure Wounds at second level mm. because you guys really beat the shit out of me. All right, so. <laughs> I didn't use agonizing blast. It's okay. It's all right. You guys, you, you, I did, you did the right. You, at all. <laughs> you did the right. You guys did the right thing. All right. So I can do a healing word if you need some more. It's very possible. <laughs> uh, I get 11 plus, so that's 14 back. But if I dropped you to zero, I'd have gotten temporary hit points. Yeah. Well, win, that would have been. Win, win. <laughs> all right. But, you know, I mean, uh, I could maybe use. Maybe the rain stopped. I mean, I Maybe. could use another seven. <laughs> uh, talk okay. about blowing oh, second level. That's a, that's blowing a second <laughs> level uh, spell swap right there. And you guys haven't to... even encountered any opponents. Yet. I know, yeah, I know. I'm waiting for it. But well, I was an opponent. <laughs> wow. Well, I was. To say I haven't yeah. missed anything yet. That's true. True, your worst opponent. I can cast. Let's see here. If you want, otherwise we can let it go. We can let it. We can wait till I actually get hit again. Get way down again. I'm at nineteen, so I have healing word, but it's more of like an emergency thing. If somebody zero hit points, (laughs) healing word, healing words. Healing does an amazing one die for. Wow. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you can, yeah, just wait on it. Uh, I get 19. I mean, I've been in far worse situation, been far worse and more dire straits on this 
on, on this channel before. In the uh, back corners, uh, there are archways, uh, and each archway has stairs going down deeper into the hill. One to the left, one to the right. Left or right? Left or right? Should I flip a left. coin, guys? I hear a left vote. Left is fine. Left is fine. Which doesn't matter. Doesn't matter really to left. me. Follow the uh, sinister <coughs> road. Follow okay, let's, uh, road. let's try this again. Hmm. Let's do let's do the batting order because you're gonna go into a five footer. Uh, click click. Is that what? Sure. Click click. Then and the bird first. first. Excellent the, choice. The bard or the bird? Bird. 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 Click click volunteers. Who wants to volunteer for number two? Do you want oh, me to vote? I was going to say, yeah. Do I'll you want me to for two. Okay. Uh, I was going to say, put three? me in the middle. I guess, do you want me to be in the middle? Yeah, I'm sure. Like it. I'll next. take the back. So I can at least yeah. get two of you. Follow us up. Click, click. You go down, down, down a curving stone staircase again. Uh, horrific images assault your eyes as you move down the curving staircase until you come to a uh, short shoot uh, and it looks like it maybe branches off or it's a bigger room. Uh, as your torch flickers and sputters, yes. uh, you can tell it, it's a chamber. So about Even 20 my feet uncle ahead. Even much demon porn. <laughs> 20 feet ahead. <laughs> there's Everybody's a not. Uh, and this also has a flagstone floor. Oh, joy. Uh, 20 feet oh. ahead. You chamber? Yep. So click, click. D12 against me. And hope you don't hear any clicks. That's right. All right. I'm using a different D12 after the last time. No. No. No clicks for click, click. Uh, you reach the entrance to a chamber. It's about 20 feet wide, 10 feet deep. There are alcoves with what appear to be mummies in them straight ahead one to the right one to the left uh, these are curved insets where uh, creatures in linens uh, appear to be resting for eternity anybody know how to solve the three body problem are they like upright like leaning against the wall or they're like lying on in like horizontal inset into the wall Mm, so somebody has stowed their luggage in a horizontal position. Gotcha. Uh, click, click is going to call back um, over over her shoulder. She's going to say, "I see dead people." Right? Yes. <laughs> oh, that's. Watch awesome. out for wow. red handles. Don't touch the red handles. Watch out for old man Johnson. <laughs> Yeah, she's dead people. Oh, uh, uh, they're, they're not dead people that are moving, right? <laughs> All they're, they're, they're not moving. How about All it, Clara? Quiet. What do you think? I don't know. What do I think? Do I, is there any checks here I should be making? Or you're the cleric. Like gravy cleric. Can you gravy detect cleric. undead grave cleric? I I can't. I said nothing's moving. So I mean, I I can't. I can only do that can another. I can only do it twice. Sure they're not moving. Uh, yeah, they're not your, moving. Save your spell slots for healing. Oh no no! It's not. It's not. A, it's not that. But oh. I only get three of them to use per long per rest. Day? It's, uh, yeah, it's eyes of the grave. It's a uh, grave cleric. Well, I think uh, I think you can probably safely burn one fifty percent of our time into the dungeon. <laughs> Do you want oh. me to burn it or no? I mean, they're not moving, so. Fourth wall, sorry. We could nice. use more torches. We could break an arm off. <laughs> oh, I have more torches in my bag. I bought 20 because That's we were going to we could dungeon. burn the mummies. Now, they, they, they were used as wood in uh, uh, England, so. And fertilizer. And so click, click, click. Your there's first an one actual in. paint called Mummy Brown. I am going to, like, uh, Click Click is going to cautiously poke her torch towards one of the mummies. Left, straight, or right? Straight. Roll a d12. Okay. Roll a d12. Uh, rain 
Yeah. Uh, are you checking for the undead? Or are you going to hold uh, on? To do you guys want me to or not? I mean, so I got two more. So I can do if it. you want. All right, do fine. It. I'll do it. Is it spooky? Uh, All right. So anything within 60 feet. Click, click. As you lean in, you notice that the linens are covered in etchings of some kind of religious notation. Uh, the bodies are completely wrapped. Oh, uh, and as you do that, as you lean forward, you start to notice a shadow flickering. Rain, there are three undead in this chamber. Oh, shit. Okay. Everybody there roll a are... So I will we'll obviously try to give out the warning that there's three undead in this room. Oh, don't tell me. Please tell me it's not a damn shadow. Oh, Jesus Christ. 14. Three. Zeal? Uh, 15. So I have a 14, a 15, a 4, and a 3. Wow. Yeah. You guys <laughs> suck. Uh, Shut up. Did you really think that it was just cred that was the problem here? 15. Uh, Bazeal. Yeah. Uh, actually, well, I'll start, I'll start with Bazeal. You notice a shadow rising out of the corpse of the mummy, of oh. the mummy, of the mummy. That's there are the three mummy. shadows three in here. Three shadows. Are they shadows or mummy? Well. Shadows of mummies. You know, like almost nothing in the world has resistance to force damage. <laughs> pick a mummy and, or pick a shadow and roll my Eldritch Blast. Uh, D6. And I will let you determine which one. My D6 after. is a two. You are going my, after the one on the left. My two hit is an 18. That hits. The damage is five plus five, ten. Uh, next up is the 14. Uh, Desingio, what you going to do? Because they have come was, for you. So oh, how many of these rising? Three. Of three. Them. three. One how out of each away? mummy. How far away are they? I see three uh, bears. Right? 20 feet wide, so you are in the center. So 10 feet, 10 feet, 10 feet. Okay. I will target one of the ones that Bazil did not target. Uh, roll uh, odd even. Odd even. I rolled a six. Uh, you head to the right. Okay. And so I, I target the one on the right, and I will cast Disney Whispers on it. It has to make a, I think, a wisdom save. Yeah, uh, it has to make a work. wisdom save. Not even close. That's what, a nine it, minus two, seven. I okay, fail. so it fails to save, so it takes three die six psychic damage and must use its reaction to flee as far as it can. Fair enough. How much damage? Three die six is, hold on. Uh, right? You know, yeah. Carol, you almost didn't get screwed there. But Why? <laughs> what well, do you mean? Because there's a shadow on Click Click, a shadow on Bazile, there was a shadow on Basingio, but he chased his off, so it goes to you. <laughs> well, we'll see about that. Oh, I know, and I free rolled shit for initiative, so. Basingio, how'd you do with it? Yeah, a 10. That's not bad. Same as uh, yes, Bazile. Uh, the shadows spring forth out of the corpse husks. And they attack. Uh, they will attack the zeal. Ooh, five. That ain't gonna hit. Uh, they will attack quick click. That's 19. Uh, and they will attack rain. That's a four. Uh, Wait, only two of them can attack. <laughs> only two that? of them because the other one's fleeing. Towards rain. No, it, it, wait, that's wait. all it can do. It can yeah. only. Fall. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. You, you basically like turned it, right? Basically. It's yeah. as far as it can from us, and then every turn it has to roll save. 
Gotcha. Uh, so, so there's I, only two of them. Okay. Uh, so that's click, why I rolled click. a four. <laughs> I guess it rolled. It didn't really try to hit me. Click, click. It's time for you to get hurt. Uh, not that bad. Uh, six necrotic damage. All right. And lose one point of strength until a short rest. Oh, yeah, these freaking yeah. things are, they are goddamn shadows. Uh, but quick, quick, oh, you're up. All right. Um, I look at the guitar. I pull, I'm going to draw, she's going to draw her weapons. She's going to look at them. She's going to realize they probably can't do shit against, well, actually, she's for experimentation. I'm going to try to attack. Sure. Um, with my scimitar towards the shade closest to me. Okay. And I'm going to drop my die on the floor, so I'm just going to reroll that. It's an automatic fail, and you hit yourself and hey. right in the jugular. Uh, okay, that is a 21 to hit. Okay. Your blade seems to slice through. Ish. How much Ish. damage do you do? Yeah, that's right. and, uh, That'll be 1d6 plus 4, which of course I got a 1, so that is 5 damage. <laughs> you hope it's 5 damage. Uh, it's Rain, I'm going to use my attack roll against you as its saving throw, so it... The 4? you. <laughs> And goes down the tunnel. Uh, top of the order, Bazile. Wait a minute. Um, what do you mean top of the order? Don't I get a turn? Oh, that's right. I'm sorry. Yeah, you're still oh, so, so freaking confused. All right. So we have a turn. So either I can, I can actually try to turn them if you want, if you only want to fight one at a time. Works or, for me. What's that? I mean, I could try doing that. You know, maybe I will. I'll just do that. Um, I'll do. I will use. Geez, my channel divinity. Uh, channel divinity, which means we'll need a short rest if I want to reset this. That and will I'm also doing, heal her strength loss. Yeah, well, that's true. Well, I don't know if we can. Can you do that on a short rest? I mean, I don't have. I don't have. I have less of restoration, which doesn't help. Loses one d four strength uh, until short rest. Oh, okay, good. Uh, all right, so I'm gonna do I'm gonna do turn undead, which is give me a sec. Where the hell was the actual description under actions? Um, actions turn undead. I present my holy symbol and speak a prayer, centering the undead. Each undead that can see or hear you within thirty feet must make a wisdom saving throw, DC thirteen. If they fail at saving throw, it's turned for one minute or until it takes damage. So we could, we'll be able to pick and choose what we want to fight. Uh, the one closest to Bazile uh, stands its ground. The one ah! quick, quick uh, speeds away. Good. So I have to basically concentrate on this. So, sure. um, and uh, bonus action? That's an action. Let's see, bonus. One sec. And make sure I mark that off. I did mark that off. Okay, bonus action. Uh, I don't think I get any good. I don't. I don't want to blow a leveled spell right now. Um, no, I think that's it. I think I'm. That's all I'm gonna do. Top of the order, Bazile. Eldritch uh, blast. There you go. Uh, that's gonna hit for sure. That's a nineteen. Yep. Uh, and it's going to do nine points of uh, force damage. It explodes. Oh, nice. Then I'll blow on it. The Singio. Uh, two of the shadows have uh, disappeared down the corridor. The third one has been blasted into bits back to where it belongs. Uh, what would you like to do? Uh, how many other mummies were in this room? Three. So there were only three, and they all are gone. The three corpses are still present. The three shadows 
two have left the room. One has been banished. So there's still these like mummies in here. Mm -hmm. But they haven't moved. And I didn't sense any more than the three shadows. Interesting. All correct. Yeah. Loot the bodies. Come on. <laughs> uh, so by the way, which way down the corridor did it Mummies go? Mean treasure. Did they go ahead There's of only, us or behind only one us? One way. This is a dead end room. Oh, the so they behind you. Okay, so but well, we're gonna have to go back that way too. Maybe. Yep. <laughs> gotcha. Unless there's uh, a um, secret tunnel. Secret so we tunnel. don't see anything else. Secret about tunnel. You in this room. Thank you. Sorry. Nope. Don't see anything else. I guess we should follow them. What do you think? I have one follow and one loot the body. I think we should loot the bodies. I'm looting a body. They might come back. Okay. <laughs> Let's loot the bodies. Click, click. They'll be back. And I will just kind I'm of. Not back yet. Back. We have a minute to That's loot the sad. bodies before they might come back. Coming back. <laughs> All right. So, uh, Bazil, click, click, and Desingio, you were all in front of yours. Uh, you want to cut these open, keeping in mind there are strange religious sigils on the cloth wrappings. Yeah, I'm going to use my rapier to cut them open. Okay, I've got a dagger. It is a magic there. weapon, by the way. I've got a dagger, and I will try using my dagger to cut some of the wrappings. Uh Surprisingly, the wrappings come off rather crisply, uh, exposing a ugh, putrid sewers. Oh, I'm sorry, that's an adventure sense. Uh, a putrid corpse uh, that is very, very desiccated. Uh, but each one of these bodies <coughs> wears a silver necklace holding a black onyx gemstone in the shape of horns, similar to the image uh that click click was climbing right Each of these necklaces pendant. are worth 50 gold pieces but who wants them not sure i want to directly touch it so i like take my my dagger and i like try to get it under the necklace and and remove it roll a d20 to sing you yeah. um i'm gonna take the necklace and Blow the dust off and polish it on a cloth and I put it around my one. neck. <laughs> Desingio uses his dagger, swipes through the neck, the head falls, rolls off, uh, and then you may pick up the necklace. How are you removing it, uh, Bazile? With my hand. Nice. Getting dirty. That works. Uh, click, click. What about you? Um... Yeah, I'll, I'll cut open the third mummy in. I'm wearing that shit. Silver and black's my jam. You're putting it on? Hell yeah, yes. Hold, hold on, that's my next question. Uh, click, click. Uh, so yeah, you cut in, you see the necklace. How do you want to get it off? You still do the same trick that he did with his dagger, but with her signature. Give me a d20. Uh, 18. You actually loop it onto your dagger and pull it over the head so as not to destroy the body because you aren't some asshole <laughs> that cuts heads off in tombs. Wow. Uh, Bazile's already <laughs> said he's putting this thing on. Uh, Desingio Why are you putting like, it on? You guys want to put it on? Why? I stare at you in tiefling. I stare back in human. I mean, I'm like, yeah, but it's it's an Evil, nasty god. Why would you want to wear that thing? And I'm a half elf. It doesn't go with my half elf garb. There. There you go. Yes. That's it. Wrong That's a good reason not to wear it. It goes with my aesthetic. I don't. Are you, Look, are you long, a... pointy, black, abyssal blade, mm. horns, quick, 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 bright quick, quick, red how skin, about you? Any of this but it's a freaking evil, horrible god. Yeah. Hang on. Quick, quick. Are you putting yours on? Not fucking no. She's just okay. gonna like hold the out on the end of her sword and she's You looking. want me to hold all of those? I've got a bad <laughs> feeling about this. Uh Rain, uh you sense evil is returning because it's been a, almost a minute because these guys are 
cutting up corpses incoming shit. guys incoming and i don't i wish see now i really do wish i did you know i had light but i had to kill a couple spells because i had to because this was a higher level character including so, a couple cantrips so i had to uh, kill the light i wish i had light right now because i think light any light or radiant works well against these things yeah uh, i mean it makes sense the shadows you, you can see two of them coming down uh how far away are they home. Uh, they're about 20 feet away. Uh, Rain has an eyeball on them. You do not. Uh, Desingio does not. Well, that's what Desingio I'm saying. She said not. they were incoming. I want to move toward her so I can. Okay. You oh, said oh. they sensed they're incoming, right? Even though I'm not using. Yeah. Rain and Click Click roll initiative at advantage. Bazil and Desingio roll normal. That's uh, 17. God for advantage. Hey, for once I rolled a oh wow. Naturally, I rolled on this. I rolled a nat 20. So yay. Oh, I also rolled a nat 20 for a total I'm of so prepared for this. 18 is not bad. Uh, all of you beat me. We'll go with a natural 20. Ladies, uh, you're up. There are two shadows speeding towards you like the dementors that they are. Uh I'll pick the one, I guess. Is it right or left or whatever? Sure. I assume yeah. you've stepped back into the room. Yes. Yep. Uh, so uh, and be behind left, and the be right. and behind the front line of fighters. Uh, I want to cast uh, Sacred Flame. Sure. So deck right save in the back it. of the head of your meat shield. No. <laughs> to, uh, make a deck save a thirteen or greater. Uh, that is a 16 on the die. God damn it. Uh, and they get plus two, so that's an 18. Get a fair, fair chance of not getting this. All right. I that's that's my friggin' action. Click click. All right. Um, well, I'm a fighter. I only have one trick. I am <laughs> going to try and hit it with my scimitar. Sure. Or um does eleven hit? Close, but no cigar. Okay. 17, Bazil, you're up. Right. I'm going to cast Scorching Ray. You are not going to do anything because as you try to cast Scorching Ray, ah, I cannot do this. What? Why? These are my brethren. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, you think you you're such up. a loser for so putting that necklace on, have man. Worn that thing. Yeah, we all do it, but you. <laughs> Sure Look, hey, you know what? It looks good with your outfit, dog. It's a damn yeah. cool necklace. Uh, yeah. the, the singio. Uh, it's gonna murder us all now. Yeah, the zeal wants to do something. Maybe he kind of eyeballs rain for a second. Oh sure. <laughs> but he does do. He does nothing. Again, um, it, can I tell which one I previously attacked? Uh, a high perception roll. Perception. Yeah. Thirteen. Yeah, there's shadows you can't tell. <laughs> but both have been hit, so you, you got that going for you. All right, I'll cast a vicious mockery on one of them. Do you this speak infernal or abysmal? Or do you have I to? I don't think I have to uh, speak their language. But I'm pretty paralyzed. No, you don't here, have to. You don't have to speak their language. does not need to understand me. So okay. I will say, you know, they just something know terrible, you're... insulting their mother. Uh, what am I saving against? Uh, wisdom, they need to get at least a 13. Uh, they do not. Okay. Nice. So uh, they take one die for psychic damage, which turns out to be... Two. <laughs> so right, it's the other part that's, that's even better. They have disadvantage after this. Okay. So in the next turn, the, the one that failed to save has disadvantage. Uh the two creatures split off and they go after five click click and three rain. Uh on click click. 14 plus 4, 18. That hits. <laughs> Wait, why is... 
Hold on one sec. My armor class should not be a 12. Uh, 11. <sighs> rain. 11? Wait, no, you rolled an 11? No, an attack on rain is an 11. Yeah, you miss. Uh, there we go. For some reason, my armor was not equipped. <laughs> <laughs> oh, ouch. Uh, you know what? I got two murder hobos on. Uh, that oh, am I dead yet? Yeah. That's 12 hit points there. Click, click. And you are going to lose. Oh, fuck. Uh, that's in the dice pile. One more strength hit points. <laughs> so you're down two you strength said- points and 12 hit points as the shadow goes through you and gives you gastrointestinal issues. Uh, top of the order, natural 20s, ladies, you're up. I'll let, I'll let her go first. Uh, first off, I got to say that is looking really rough. You got that potion extra healing. Uh, yeah. Actually, yeah, fuck it. I'm going to take use my action to take that potion. Do it. Is it an action or a bonus to take a potion? It's, it's action. action. Okay. Yep, so, um, well, and that was... 2d8 plus four, no ones. 1d8 plus four. Mm-hmm. Well, two. You. If, you're, if you're drinking the whole thing, it's 2d8 plus four. I, I'm... Or you can drink half for 1d8 plus two. Coming soon to a magic shop you, near you, Epi Potion, 1d4 on a bonus action. Uh, yeah, stab your leg. <laughs> I'm going to drink the whole thing. There you go. Um, so five plus two plus four plus four. A 14. Okay. Hey, if, I just if, healed. So, okay. If my Wait, five plus two plus four plus four is 15. My brother's sister's cousin's aunt. <laughs> bellhop. Uh, uh, I'm got, my own grandpa. You got any bonus action or are you done? Quick, quick. <coughs> I don't think I have, um, Anything I can really oh, you can throw, uh, pick up rain and throw it at it. I could have something I could do, uh, but I'm not going to because it's um, I, I could heal myself. Sorry, oh, yeah, you can, yeah, you're yeah, because I'm yeah. a slight warrior. Other yep. than that, there's nothing really I can do, so that's my turn. Actually, wow. I am going to uh, I'm going to advance, I'm going to move a little bit closer, so I'll use some movement, sure, as it. Goes uh, stomping through you. Uh, Bazile, uh, good news. Hey, wait uh, a minute. That's my turn there, Skippy Divi. Oh, you didn't go first again? No, I let oh, her okay, go, go first ahead. to decide what to do. All okay. right. Well, she since she healed herself, uh, I'm going to cast Guiding Bolt. Sure. At You said one's fighting me. So I'll cast mm-hmm. Guiding Bolt at it, and that's an attack roll. Oh, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Is that the one that's at disadvantage? It's disadvantage to hit me. Oh, one is disadvantage. One of them is at disadvantage. Yeah, but that's yeah, only that, that's to hit me, not and to. Okay. I don't get advantage on attack rolls. Also, I think you have to pick one target for um, vicious mockery. Uh, I, I already rolled for it. He picked, yeah, he picked the target. Oh, it's he picked. Yeah, he picked it. All right, so that's a fucking terrible ass roll. That's only an 11. Swing and a miss. <coughs> okay, Bazil, now you're up. Uh, I want to try and cast Scorching Ray again. Sure. Ah, I can't do it. Uh, Damn, no wisdom Basinio. save or anything. Basinio, no. You pull the thing, you can take yeah, off that necklace. Take off that necklace, you'll do it. Uh, Basinio, how, far, you're up. <laughs> how far away are these shades? Well, the one that came through click clicks right there for you to hit. Can I use my movement oh. action to take the necklace off? Oh, uh, shit. Hey, yes, hey. but that will be the only thing. Frank? Yeah, that's it. Frank, yep. I'm doing one more thing. Uh, wait, I can't. Oh, no, I can't do it. Never mind. I was going to bonus action something, but it's now. Can, to can, be can we go back to the game then? Yeah, <laughs> sorry. No, I just uh, have video, to be you, a, you uh, vicious mockery, the one in front of you. Right. There is also click clicks to your left. Okay, I'm going to fireball the room. There you go. I'm actually going to cast Thunder Wave. (laughs) (laughs) 
<laughs> I okay. mean, that sounds like a very good idea. I'm, I'm all in favor of this. It's one. probably because of the loud noise. It's going to pull the dungeon. Uh, and he's he's right there. It's a constitution he's going to ask you guys. Everybody, con say that. Wait, 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 wait. Is he behind all of us? Uh, he is. A, he is at the back. Yeah, but I mean, it is a fifteen foot cube that starts at him, which is most of the room. Yeah, <laughs> but that depends. It depends on how we were arrayed. If we have maps, it'd be a lot easier to figure this out. Not really. You guys are about to get your ass kicked. <laughs> That's a con save, right? And yeah, con save. I have proficiency in those things. Goodness. That both shadows uh, fail. Thirteen <laughs> plus five, eighteen. Uh, 17. I got a 15. Well, you, it's a cube from you, so you're yeah. fine. Oh, okay. Yeah. You aren't going to blow yourself up. So the rest of us just have 15. to take half the damage. Quick, quick, what was yours? Nine. And Rain, what was yours? Oh, 17. Okay. So uh, three failed. Uh, click, click, and myself for both shadows. And I assume Bazeal and Rain's rolls were high enough to pass. Yeah. I hope so. And so that would be seven points of damage. And then three to three the, to us. Two. Okay. Oh my god. And then that but hurts. then there's there's the other cavat of that spell of those who failed. Everybody's deaf. No. No, they're oh, pushed thunder, ten feet. They get pushed they're ten pushed, feet. Push tender, yeah. Way. Which is good news. Yes, uh, it is. Because uh, the ceiling is caving in uh, above the singio. Uh, oh, thanks. Dust fills the air. Stones are starting to loosen. Everybody make a run for it with a survival check. Survival. I make it. Nat 20. That's two nat 20s. If there's one thing Baz is good at, it's so GTFO. Oh no. 16. Hey, I rolled an at 20. Can I help her? Uh, question, question. Can I use my telekinet? Oh, uh, now my telekinet. You have your D6. Movement. Yeah, what about your inspiration? Can I? Can you have to say it? about the inspiration before you make the right. roll. Oh, okay. it's not okay. It's not. What's your question? Click, click. Can I, can I use my telekinetic yeah. movement to move myself? How bad was your roll? Real bad, Frank. Real bad. <laughs> I'm thinking there might be a one involved in this. I will, like what I will allow you to start to move, so you'll only suffer half damage. Let's pray for another murder hobo, shall we? No. The prayers are answered. <laughs> God damn it. That means it's a six. That's a six. <laughs> Six damage, uh, and you also have an ankle problem. <laughs> what the rest of us take three? Uh, no, the or rest none. of you, the rest uh, of you escape. I'm, I'm good. Can, I, can I use my reaction for? Um, I have a protective field, so I can actually reduce. Um, <clears throat> I can reduce damage by one d six plus one. I'll let you reduce it, but if you roll a d6, one to two will drop at one point, three to four will drop <coughs> at two points, and five to six will drop at three points. Because a one's pretty bad. Did she use the inspiration on that? Oh, uh, <laughs> Robert, if, what is, if what she is wants, uh, you know. I should know this. What's my inspiration, die? D6. D6. All right. Well, you know, yeah. you know she's gonna botch it and roll two ones. <laughs> it was, it was, it was six points of damage. She said. Correct. I'm just, I'm just gonna take it. I'm at eat nine. it. Uh, Bazil, Rain, the Singio, you guys haul ass into the corridor. Uh, it fills with just a plumage of uh, dust and debris, uh, and through the shadow of this dust and debris. <laughs> through the shadows. Speaking of through the shadow, uh, click click emerges, uh, kind of limping, just like the singio, just like rain. 
because I am crippling all of you. Uh, But no dark shadows. Oh, did they get crushed? Remind me to learn a different spell instead of Thunder Wave. (laughs) Honestly. Uh, quite honestly, I, I, I quit tunnel silly. It's a very good one for a, a bar to have in the repertoire. It's one of the Remind ones me to charge you for my dry cleaning. Uh, Bazile, did you just take okay. the necklace off or did you throw the necklace off? I tossed it. Okay. Only two necklaces exist, and they're one's in Desingio's pocket and the other is in uh, Click Click's pocket. Uh, that room is gone. So if there was like a secret anything, door in there, do it's gone. Uh, you guys can climb the stairs, go back into the totem room. Uh, there's another set of stairs just across the way in the, the corner right. Or you could probably leave and just say, fuck it. We came out with two necklaces. That's good. <laughs> what was to it, the right again? Uh, another stair descending. Let's let's do it. Did anybody want to do a short? Actually, rest? yeah, I think we need a short rest there let's because do a short rest. We have somebody here's lost a couple strength points. Anybody want to read any parchments? No. Oh, no. Anybody? No, no we don't no. want to scroll. Scroll no. book. Nothing. Not a short. No. Short rest. Short rest. It is. All right. Uh, click, click. You will get your two strength points back. Let's see. I'm going to use some hit die. Me too. Just one, I think. Unless I. Lot, nope, lot, that's a lot good. of loose parchment over there. Shut up. Stop it. Stop it. Right stop it. Stop it. Shush. Stop Easily it. Available. You know, you might want to read. Actually, I'll Burn. Burn. Sun's probably shining outside. Yeah, horrible. It's actually working. <clears throat> All right, my back to full health. It's my hit dice. I'm good. You feel strong, Rock. She's gonna uh, jump up. She's gonna go. Does she want to read anything? No. Oh, just checking. Uh, everybody ready? Uh, yep. uh, well, since none of you guys are avid readers, uh, the only other apparent exit out of here is in the right corner. In the right corner. Who's Weighing 330 million tons. <laughs> the terrace. Order. Oh, I'm going to go first oh. with my darking vision. Brave soul. Second. I'm guessing I lost my torch, huh? Yeah. <laughs> And one of your metatarsals. Since we did a short rest, I give everybody bardic inspiration again. Oh. Um, we'll have that. And I'll pass out fresh torches. You have that You have that as your song and not song of rest, right? What? Well, there's, well, there's the other one. There's song of rest, which gives you additional hit points when you actually use. Oh, but that's a different thing. Song of rest. No, you, you get that this one instead. I'm sorry, I dropped the ceiling on you. (laughs) Yeah, exactly. I'm terribly inspired by not having the ceiling (laughs) dropped on me. (laughs) Uh, So who's going down second behind the zeal? Um, I feel fresh and ready to throw down. Okay, I'll go third. Rain and the bard brings up the rear. Uh, Bazil, D12 against me as you go down. Yep. Um, Ooh, that's a 12. Uh, click. <coughs> oh, not me. So you heard a click. Heard a click. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, On boy. the stairs. Oh, stair traps are real fun. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, oh, mm-hmm. Partners, and I'm going to like throw myself backwards. Woo, crowd surf. Yep. Uh, Bazile, you're that guy in the Vietnam movie who steps on the landmine and doesn't move. And everybody yells, don't you move that goddamn leg. <laughs> like in Genesis of the Daleks. Yes, there you go. So what do you want to do, Bazil? Uh, you want to lift your leg and get it blown off? 
the way to is there a way to keep the plate down so it won't pop up? Yeah. What what is it with you guys and complaining all the time? Make it exactly. feel down. We take one of the torches. Uh, I have this idea. Down and then I'm going to cast spider it. climb on myself and jump onto the wall. Interesting. Sure. Well, that's a good call. Uh, you guys hear him do his mumbo jumbo and leap. And just like Peter Parker, he's hanging on the uh, short expressway down. Uh, no blades, no trap door, no nothing. I'm just going to cruise down the hallway on the wall. Cool. Good idea. Uh, I believe Click Click is second. Did you I, see which stone Click? <laughs> Give me a perception. I, I don't know. Could I? Can I make a perception check to see you if can I can make a that? perception check? Can you poke the stones with one of your torches? Um. Well, the perception check pull. I got was eight. Stop on the ceiling and turn around and go. Come on, are you guys coming or what? Yes, you uh, noticed which one his foot froze on. Uh, she could say, Oi, fuck off. Um, walk on. Nice. Are you going to point it out to the other two? Yes, I will. I will. Warning. 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 Warning, Dr. Smith. Warning. Uh, <laughs> Warning, Will Robinson. Table ready? for Will Robinson. Thank you, Will Robinson. Uh, Desingio and Rain roll d20. Anything but a one means you understood. Fuck. No, that's not a one. That's a 14. 14 as well. Okay. You, yeah, you guys heard her. You guys took appropriate measures. You get down. Uh, as you reach the landing of the stairs, uh, there's a short 20-foot tunnel, again, filled with prophetic end of doom kind of sequences, and the tunnel turns left. Okay. I see anything with my dark are there Are there any trap plates on the ceiling? Because that's where I'm staying. Nope, there are not. Call me Lionel. Well, Lionel, you're leading. Uh, do you want to go down the 20 or the uh, 40 foot long corridor? Yep. For some reason, all of the prophetic end of days doom uh, murals are upside down for you. It's, it's great. <laughs> yeah. it's so much better this way. You guys see him scurrying along like some creature that needs to be shot off the ceiling. Uh, reach for your wasp spray, but realize it's empty. End of days. Is there uh, is there a scene with an orgy or something on there? You know, why don't we keep that? It's theme not going? all about sex, Carol. Geez, try not to keep that. No, there's theme plenty going. of there's plenty of torture, murder, incest. Oh, incest is bodies sex. Sorry. Sex, it's just a sex man. <laughs> Uh, quick, quick, uh, you're leading D12 against me. All right. Man, she sucks at this. <laughs> that's why I have a dice. That's that's why it's a one. good thing we, you're getting murder elbow dice sent to you soon. Uh, <laughs> everything clicks every time you move, but nothing comes out. This place is now, very poorly maintained. Now you're pretty sure that that ankle injury from earlier has got, you know, long-term effects oh. as the ball and socket keeps clicking away. Ah. Uh, as you get to the end of the tunnel, it juts left again, goes 20 feet into another chamber. Uh, Bazile still, you know, doing the Superman crawl. Uh, Superman. Spider-Man. <laughs> Uh, Spider-Man, Spider-Man. Spider Inside this man. room, it's 20 feet wide. It's 10 feet deep. There's an alcove ahead, an alcove on the left, and an alcove on the right. Are there mummies? There are three corpses covered in linens in each alcove. Are there daddies? Wait, three in each alcove or three one, one in each. Thank you. <laughs> three alcoves. <laughs> one is, I was going nine, nine, nine five, shadows. Five, I'm out, guys. <laughs> oh Lord, oh Lord. Do you I guess do I guess I should probably burn the last one, huh? Okay, guys. An exact replica no of the other room. Wearing the jewelry. All right, I'll use oh. my last eyes of the grave. Yeah, there's nothing in here. God damn it. How long does this last? <laughs> it's just one turn. Uh, look around for a secret door. Just 
Yeah, it's turn. I'll, I'll take investigation from Bazil, Desingio. What were you saying? I was wondering if we should loot these mummies too. Yeah. We can. That's up to rain and click click, I guess, as Bazil looks for a secret door. I'm going to yeah, add my bardic no inspiration to make that. Uh, that's a 19 with a with using my bardic inspiration. Fair enough. I'm so, going to take my dagger and cut through one of the mummies and see if I find anything. Okay, there, Captain Blade. Give me another D20. Let's see if you lop off its head again and destroy the uh, restful sleep. 14. Okay, it's fine. Click, click. Did I find anything? Oh, no. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Is that Dude, another nap? She's one? improving. Wait, was it two? Nat two. Nat two. Nat two, yeah. Come on, I'm getting better, guys. You lop off its head as well. Uh, Rain, are you taking the third one? I guess. D20. That's not a one, thank or a two. That's an 11. So okay. 11 plus anything? Uh, nah, it doesn't matter. Okay. Uh, Desingio, Rain, click, click. Uh, exact same necklaces uh, on these things. 50 gold pieces each. Anybody want to uh, put them on? No. No. <laughs> I'm not even sure why I want to sell them. Clearly, they flip in, have so they affect First the wearer. Something. Maybe we can purify it or something. So sure. I'll put it in my belt. It down. Uh, with your nice something. No secret doors. All right. Well, I think if we don't find anything else in there, we we move on. You mean move back? Move back. Well, there's the other. You can. That was, this was which direction to the left? This was to the right. Oh, to the right. We go. Well, there's the left. I believe we could go as well. That's nope, where we, we were already before. went there. Oh, there isn't. So is this the end? Probably not. We got to go back up to where the statue is and look for another entrance. Yeah, I, I only did four. There were a couple. Of, that sounds like me. There were a couple doors I think we did not cover when we were in like the library area. No. No. Let's go back you up had there. Then. Statue. Yep. Shelving. Shel shelving. Shelving. Door. 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 Go door. investigate the statue. And I'm really good at bringing ceilings down. Climb the statue again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like that idea. <laughs> it's not uh, very big. But there are two doors we didn't investigate, and I would think I'd like to go check one of those out. Doors? Doors? You said there what were two doors? doors in the yeah, library. You, you went through them. We went through both of them. Oh. One was on the left and one was on the right. Stairs what going down. Short rest? Up shit. We go did back. the short rest beforehand. Hey, we're done 20 minutes in advance. Let's go. Yay. Uh, yeah. I'm I'm so in the first I'm here. It's time for me to do my stupidity. Sure. We could roll dice on climbing the rope out. I, I want I want to climb the statue before we go. I want to try and get that sector. Can we can we move the statue to the opening and use it as a ladder? That would be know. really heavy. Uh click click wants to climb it. So you guys are all back. Yeah, up I'm, all for, I'm all for I'm all for click click climbing it. Click, 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 click. Go for it, click click. click, click. I'm, all hey, for I, I, I'm just saying there, there's some loose parchment. Left and right. Right. Want, Set it on fire. No, we already yeah. know what the fuck happened when I read the loose. Well, it was a loose part. Just you know, just try to promote all the options. I available. still have. Wait. Comprehend languages lasts an hour. Are we still I within that hour? Uh, Not from when you first cast it, because we had an hour rest. Uh, I comprehend languages okay. works pretty well all the time. They I can try cast. Them. I'll cast comprehend languages again. Okay. What was and your accurate? What? Go ahead. My and then I will climb the statue was 16. Okay, really while nice. she's doing that, I will grab one of the scrolls and read it. I'll look around for a secret entrance or maybe somewhere where they hide, you know, reliquaries, offerings, things like that. Sure. Uh, Rain, what are you doing? I was thinking of doing that, looking for like, you know, like a weird book or something. That sticks out. You know, like for me. set, like, a, you know, I'm going to do the same thing as I'm looking for secret doors. Sure. I feel like there is something else here. 
So what uh, happened to I have uh, no clue, Greta though. Scroll? Okay, so uh, click, click, you successfully climb and you notice the eyes on the statue uh, kind of blend in because they're onyx stones. Uh, not really big around, so, you know, maybe if you pluck them correctly and don't uh, fumble it, uh, you can be just like on the player's handbook original and pop out some eyes if you wish to try that. Onyx is fragile, so be careful. First, um, is the, you mentioned there was like a skull scepter thing. Mm -hmm. Does that look removable at all? Oh, got you. Nope, it is not. Carol saying, don't you ever fucking dare touch a skull scepter. Do it, don't do ever, <laughs> don't ever touch a uh, Put on your necklace first and then touch it. <laughs> uh, no, it, it is part of the uh, Yeah, it's not the, it's not it the not actual removable. rod of I have a few minutes left to try and kill the party. So really? I'm gonna, I'm gonna touch the skull scepter and try it. But it's not, it's, it's unfortunately, it's a stone skull scepter. It's not yeah, the, so, yeah, no, it's, can imagine him throwing that in this game, the actual at third rod level, of Orcus yeah. at third level. That no, would be lulls. That'd be lots of lulls until we all die. Uh, so <laughs> click, click. Uh, <laughs> nope. I'll, just, I'll go for the eyes. How uh, many get, curse scepters are there? Go for the eyes, Go for the eyes, boo. <laughs> So wait, what am I rolling for that? Slide hand? Dexterity. Oh, okay, just straight dexterity. Because mm -hmm. you gotta pop it out and catch it. Well, that's gonna be one the loss. First one, I got a six total. Yeah, I'll take care of it. You're investigating shit. <laughs> uh, second roll. I'll try the other eye. Eight. Both eyes are chipped. They're now worth 20 gold pieces instead of 50 originally. Uh, Desingio, you have found a scroll. It is a magic scroll. It is a magic scroll of da, 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 spider climb. <laughs> Ooh. I'm still using that. Mm. Uh, Zio, what was your investigation? Spider role? climb. Uh, 18. And what was yours, Rain? Oh, it was shit. That's what it was. It was total shit. It was like, uh, I think it was a four. I, I don't remember what the hell I rolled. But I'll go with it was a four. So that's only like a nine. Perception, that's only like a nine. Uh, Bazile, uh, the initial bookshelf that Click Click was dinking around with, uh, or I'm sorry, that Rain was dinking around with, uh, Hmm. Seems to be so. Does a bookshelf air movement? <sighs> mm -hmm. uh, as you tear across the bookshelf, da, 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 there is an opening with stairs going down. Uh, everybody hears this. The Singio. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Put down the friggin', you know, click, creepy click, ass click. porn and, and let's go. <laughs> uh, that's chipped. <laughs> Wait, quick question, DM. Are the eyes tiny? I mean, do they count technically? Oh, hold on, hold on a second. <laughs> what you under under six inches counts as tiny. If, they're, oh. if it is a tiny object, I could move it to my hand. But I mean, it's not going to be big or anything. They're gemstone eyeballs. I'll, I'll let you re-roll on both. Let's see if I can entirely shatter them this time. No, that's an 18. And the other one? That's a 7 again. Uh, <laughs> what One chip, 20 gold pieces. The other one you managed to hoop, hoop. Uh, and that'll be worth 50 gold. Yeah. Uh, and then you hear Bazile tear the bookshelf off. I'm going to abandon the chipped one and climb back down. Sure. It's only 20 gold. You throw away more on that with a sommelier. Uh, okay, everybody sees that Bazile has uncovered a secret entrance hidden behind a bookshelf. Ooh. Ooh. And... 
there are still parchments floating around. Just if anybody wants reading material. I don't want to touch this day. After what happened to me, I am not touching any more reading material in this friggin' place. I can still comprehend languages because it hasn't been an hour yet. I'm going to cackle like crazy and run down the stairs. <laughs> we have 13 minutes left. <laughs> <laughs> it's, 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 it's time to murder. Yeah, it's time, it's time to release chaos. <laughs> I'm going to read some parchments. Say la vie. I'm glad I went down the stairs. I'm going down the stairs. With, with, with I'll go down it. the stairs to a We'll just uh, leave, click, leave, click, click, I don't know, I can't do your name. Click, click, read. You can find three parchments, D12 against me three times. Wait, why am I using this one? This one sucks. Okay, that's a four. That's one. That's a seven. One. And that's a one. Oh. Two. Two seven two. Uh, Ty goes to the runner for the middle one. Uh, however, click click. <laughs> this is not going to be good. Uh, flames fill the room. Yes. Oh shit. <laughs> well, we don't have to worry about that, right? Because we already ran down the stairs. Yeah. Uh, would you like to follow them down the stairs? Right, and there was air. I just set the room on fire. Click, click is going to run down the stairs, whistling as innocently as she can. Awesome. The flames rise, so uh, fine down the stairs. Yeah, and there was positive go airflow off. coming out of here, so there yeah. you go. Or oxygen. You hope it's flashing. oxygen. Uh, Desingio, Basil, and Rain, uh, with 12 minutes left to go, uh, you go 30 feet straight, you hang a left. For 40 feet, no clicking whatsoever. Uh, then you turn left another 30 feet and you find yourself in a 30 foot long room by 10 feet deep to the right, the right wall has an alcove with a mummy in it. And this no room, however, is way different. This room. Unlike the rather horrific scenes of the other chambers, this room has murals that still have color and life to them after years of neglect. A single alcove holds another corpse swaddled in ribbons of fabric, and a quick check of the murals in this chamber show a female floating through the clouds with orange and black butterflies shooting out of her hands. Um, the the delicate creatures swarm around a crowd of people, and the image is completely out of character considering the theme of the rest of this complex. Three mm -hmm. painted mm -hmm. coffers are in the far corner of the room, painted like butterflies. So, mm -hmm. Clarice, what would you guys like to do? Religion check? Uh, you've already failed yours. Uh, Bazeal, no, yeah, but this is a different room, different God, different circumstance. Is it? I comprehend Not languages coming in. Uh, no I, written words here. Like Orcus couldn't look Is like something else. You you can try and do. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll give you guys all religion checks. I, yeah, I, I mean to, to me this is this is not the same thing. This this would be nineteen for my religion check. That's not awesome either. What is my? Nope. I got a seven. For twelve. Religion. Yeah, I got a twelve. Right, That's so a seven for me as well. Uh, essentially the same entrance. Uh, Bazil, uh, you something about orcas and butterflies, but you cannot remember what. Oh, just shit. Really? It is orcas? Yep. Yep. Just too much, really. Um, Maybe it's his weakness. Just go grab those chests and we'll get out of here. And then I turn coffers. around and go upstairs. Coffers. Yeah, coffers. Yeah. He says, yeah, grab the coffers. And he walks out. <laughs> Wait, why? No, 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 no. You want the coffers, you go grab one of the coffers. There's still an alcove with a body in it. Oh. I, I'm mm -hmm. going to I'm gonna go poke the poke the body with my scimitar. I'm waiting in the hall. I wait in the hall. I come out and wait in the hall too. Uh, I'll watch your poke. I, I literally wait. I come out there and like, you want the coffers, you can go get them. No, no, that's all right. That yo, so you want them to die getting them? 
Hey, right, guys. Do, do, hey, guys. Yeah, what are you doing? Click, click, doing the poking. Uh, there's a chance they could die, or there's a chance it's treasure. I'm just not willing to personally take that chance. You're, so you're a coward, and you shouldn't really get a cut of the treasure. I'm a survivalist. That's you're a coward. Says, says the person like, hanging out in the hallway with you. Oh, um, well, I don't know, because it's bullshit that he's leaving us behind. And actually, uh, I'm going to say, guys, he thinks there's something wrong with this. <laughs> We'll see. In other words, he's not willing to do it. Just keep that in mind when you go poking the coffers. Click, click. Uh, you poke the body. It does not move. A. Does not move. The dead thing didn't does, move. Doesn't move. Most of those guys haven't moved. <laughs> so let's let's see how heavy the coffers are. All quiet in here. Uh, there are three coffers. One's kind of large, uh, one's kind of medium, one kind of small. As you investigate it, each has a lid secured in wax. Butterflies adorn the exterior of the jars. Uh, as you give me a strength check to see if you can properly gauge the weight. Oh, pro, since I've done poking bodies. I rolled a two. <laughs> uh, it's going to be bulky. Uh, I'll, re- I'll go back in. Okay. I'll go uh, to help. Why am I rolling like shit? That's a total of 11. It's bulky, but it's not so heavy that you can't carry it out. It feels like something is inside uh, that moves, uh, kind of water, sand, something that, you know, ooze, you know, maybe jello, gelatin, maybe. Uh, something is in there that kind of shifts the weight, but it's. Is it's... this lush jello treasure of ore? No, it is. Jello shots. Fa- famous. Uh, Cosby urn. That's what this is. Uh, you fall asleep no. rather quickly if you open God. it. God, no, uh, terrible. So I have three of you in the room, farting around with the urns. I have one in the hallway. Actually, I'm, 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 spe- I'm not farting around with the urns. I'm standing there watching them in case they want guidance or something. Sure. So, uh, click, click, the singio. What you gonna do? So uh, there I, is there is no I other success- exit out of this room. Was I successful in lifting one up? You can lift it. It's just get your. It's gonna require two people, unless you want to take the small one. We have five minutes well, left. Which- if I have something exceptionally stupid, I'm gonna put my. Why name- don't we? Why don't we make Kyle happy and go along if we need to? I want to. I want to try, try and open my urn. The small one, the medium one, or the big one. The small one. Very good. Uh, the small one is opened. A swarm of black or orange and black butterflies fill the room. Off in the hallway, Bazile goes, They aren't butterflies, they're mobs. <laughs> oh, really? uh, Desingio, click, click, Rain, you're in the room. Mm-hmm. Rose- initiative <laughs> the swarm fills the room i think i'm going dead last at 20 <laughs> what six. i'll take the one on initiative thank you very much and six uh the swarm fills the room and attacks each of you this is where it hurts uh because i can't believe this They're is a C- cr4 it's pretty much death mob. Uh, yep. uh 11 plus 3, 14. Does a 14 hit you? Oh, does a 14 hit me? Uh, yes. Uh, click, click. 12 plus 3, 15. Does not hit. And rain. Two plus three, five. Uh, Desingio. <laughs> For some reason, these damn things have teeth, and they do 
Jesus Christ. Yes, uh, yes, they do. They do 6d6 plus one damage. Oh my God. <laughs> Fortunately, I have enough murder hobo dice to effectively end this problem. That's true. Oh, that's ugly. <laughs> uh, 22 hit points of damage as these damn mobs are fighting you. That kills me. That you're down. Kill or zero. I would, I would say zero. I don't think you have that few hit points. Down he goes. Uh, Go down. Yeah, it's definitely death mobs. Uh, click, click, and rain. Holy shit. These things are like locusts. You didn't hit me. Uh, uh, 18. Uh, click, click is up. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna do some I'm gonna finally do some two weapon fighting here. So first, I'll lash out, try and see if I can slice slice some of them with my scimitar. Sure. Uh, does a eleven hit? Nope. <laughs> All right, I will try again with my war pick. My in my offhand. Bazil, I think you know that it will. <laughs> Does a 14 hit? It does not. The Orcus Moth Swarm has an AC of 15. Uh, Rain, you're up. All right. As. Yep. Yeah, any, many, many more. Um, I run! <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm going to cast. I miss the both bonus actions. I'm going to cast Healing Word because I'm not right next to him to get him back up to hopefully get him the oh, fuck shit. out of the room. Oh, I will yell, run! Grab him and run! And I do... Are you... Wait a minute. Are you doing the Healing Word or are you uh, grabbing him and running? No, I'm not, a, I'm not near him. I'm telling her to run as a, you know, speaking as a free action. Gotcha. Uh, so that's six points of healing to the uh, bard, because I can suck at names. Uh, descend. Descendio. 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 So six hit points. Is that what you get six big points back. So you're conscious. Uh, Technically, that's a bonus action. Uh, what the hell do I do for my action? <sighs> Um, I'm gonna, I'm definitely gonna run. Cool. I guess I could sacred flame them as I go, which is a cantrip. I could do thunder with uh, only one spell. That's not a spell. It's a cantrip and I can do that's, a, that's a spell. No, it isn't. It's a cantrip you can do with a, a bonus action. Thunder waves a spell. It's a spell. Oh, I'm not doing thunder wave. I'm doing sacred flame at the, yes, at you the, already, you already healed. It's them. a full action that's, it's cantrip. A, it's no, oh, that doesn't. Yeah, and I've used a bonus action for you the heal. You can use one spell oh. or one and cantrip. one can. No, it's one spell and one cantrip. Hey, uh, which campaign are you playing in? Uh, I mean, otherwise, what's the point of having bonus actions? Make it, make your choice because you're about to be shocked. <laughs> All right. Well, I know that's actually how it works. You can do an, an action cantrip and a bonus action spell, but. It doesn't. Whatever. It has never I, ever yeah, worked. With yes, me. it is. I looked it with up. Frank. He said he's never it's worked. With never him. worked with me. So and I agree. So, he's so, made okay. me not do it before. So basically, there's no point in having bonus action spells. I I get it. Healing. She right. used healing word, which is a bonus action spell. Right, and right. I should be able to use a something. full action cantrip, but that's not how it works here. You could you could do? I that. run. No, I freaking run. That's what I wanted to hear. Yes, uh, as, you know as you That's... and Quick Quick turn to run, you see Bazile enter the room and cast Burning Hands, requiring a deck save from everybody. What save? Deck save for Burning Hands. Uh, the swarm fails with a seven. 17. I got a 15. I've made all my deck saves tonight, and I don't have any bonuses, which is weird. I'm guessing a 10 doesn't save? No, a 10 doesn't beat it. 
Um, okay, so everybody who made it takes 10 points of fire damage, and everybody who doesn't make it takes 20 points of fire damage. Nice. Is a 15 save? Yes, a 15 does make the save. Yay, I'm not dead. You only oh, take 10 yeah. points of fire damage. Wait, I still take damage? Yep. Yeah, you take half. 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 It's a four. Okay, then four. I am dead again. <laughs> uh, click, click, are you There dead? are lots of moths. <laughs> I, I'm looking real rough, but I'm still upright. Okay, so uh, uh, Click Click and Rain will be able to pass by Bazile in this next round. However, the swarm is going to chase you guys. And the swarm <laughs> rolled a natural 20. Uh, half of them will feast on the CEO. The other half are going to fill the hallway. And once filled the hallway... Uh, everybody gets to attack. So on the zeal, map 20, number two, uh, eight plus three on click, click, nine plus three on rain. So 12. I don't think that gets you, correct? Nope. Okay. So, uh, the zeal, good news. The swarm is halved. So it's only 3d6. That's okay. Murder Hobo, one, four, so 11 damage. I need uh, to make another deck save as my a reaction is Hellish Rebuke. Uh, 12 plus one, 13. Nope, they're going to take 3d10 fire damage. Okay. Um, eight and seven is 15, and three is 18, 18 points of fire damage. 38, got it. Uh, 18, quick, quick. So 18, yeah, that's it. Oh, sorry, it's my turn. Mm -hmm. Sorry, Frank, how much damage was that? 38 total on it. No, to me. Oh. From their attack, they hit. Uh, 11. And crit. 11. 11. Yep. Crits, crits are relevant on the monsters. Yep. I um, is going to face, going to look at this party and say, my fault, you go. And she's going to face off the swarm. And she's going to like try and block the, as much of the hallway and the stairs as she can and let the other people go by. Fair enough. Uh, Rain, you're up. Uh, where am I relationship to our fighter? No, no, no. Uh, him? Click -click. Does, does see, oh, no, uh, to Click Click. You're, you're ahead of her. Click Click isn't dead. Unless somebody grabbed him, Click Click oh. is... Not in the room. And no, Desingio is being by the yeah. laws. Desingio is dead. Um, I can't Again. do anything. So <laughs> no, no, this time you're going to be dead because there's no one coming back for you. As if Click Click had grabbed a body. Nobody wants you, Desingio. Sorry, but I'm rolling that 20 on his death save and <laughs> wake no. up. He's no, being constantly no, the, attacked. No, it's being constantly attacked it's a, by the it's a, it's a, oh, it's a well, crip or two yummy. kill death saves each round. Yummy. Each attack. Well, so what are you going to do, Rain? I don't know. Um, you I could loot my body and take those necklaces. <laughs> she does it. I believe Click Click ran. We no, all click, 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 well, click, click is, is in trying to hold them off. Interference no, I'm in making a quiet last stand. Click, click, Custer is uh, trying uh, to gather the attention. See something. Her her flowing golden hair, uh, along with her blue uniform, is going to be great fodder for painters later on as they etch out the obscenities. And show so click click going okay. down. Okay, I can still see as long as I can I can still see click click. I'm gonna drop. I guess all I can really do is drop a shield of faith, which gives you a plus two uh bonus to your AC. Oh okay. Yep. Bazil, you're up. Um give your moths a wisdom saving throw as I'll toss toll the dead over my shoulder as I'm going up the stairs. By the way, since I'm dead, you guys don't have bardic inspiration anymore. I already used it. Fifteen. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Uh, Fifteen, you say? Yes. Oh, then they take nothing. 
Okay. Uh, top of the order, uh, the swarm uh, is going to go after the army. Uh, Bazil, 13 plus 3, 16. That hits. Click, click. 13 plus 3, 16. Uh, that's my AC. Wayne. Yeah. And I would have moved, by the way. I didn't actually say that. I would have moved. Plus three, nine on rain. Uh, so miss. Uh, Murder Hobo, four, two, 12 hit points to Bazil. And quick, oh. quick. Uh, Desingio, as your eyes cloud over, you can see your deity as your bones are picked clean by Orcus's moth swarm. Oh. Uh, oh. Click, click, and you're up. That's uh, actually specifying deity, so whatever. Oh, then you're an atheist. You're screwed. Okay, I'm a half elf, a half elf atheist. Uh, well, you'll just go to the Summerlands. Don't worry about it. Click, click, the, the butterflies are whizzing around you and past you. You cannot form a line to save your friends. Well, um, I, I, I am, I am at two hit points. So fuck it. I'm just gonna go out front. I'm gonna go out fighting. There you go. And I'm attacking. Do a one. Do a one. Do a one. <laughs> and then it went into. <laughs> uh, twelve. Ah. No, nope, that doesn't hit. Fifteen to hit it. Uh, Rain, you're up. These butterflies are fucking everywhere. Yeah, I mean you can't really single can't really single target these things. Um, a swarm counts as a creature. Yeah, but I mean it sort of feels weird doing like guiding bolt. Aid them. Feels uh, weird doing guiding bolt. Yeah, because uh, basically you can't really. If I it as a firework. As a, boom. I mean, yeah, but there also is, there also remains the fact that I'm at. 14 hit points if I get hit. That's gonna 14. be real, ah. that's gonna be real sketchy on on uh, <laughs> getting the fuck out of here. I'm at zero, so I you, got know, no, I know. you got no you got no you know no, I mean, <laughs> no no the point is I'm trying to actually fucking live for a change because run I am I, no I can I'm move is gonna happen. Okay. Uh I'm gonna it's whether I want to try to damage them or I want to cure myself so I don't drop. Uh, I think I'm going to cure myself. Okay. So my action Cure yourself and run. Uh, Bazil, you're up. Okay, uh, so that's eight. I, I'm going to Eldritch Blast and run. Sure. Uh, uh-oh. Um, uh, it's either going to be you or it's going to be click, click. So odd you, even click, click. Uh, that's even. Bye, click, click. <laughs> click. Click, click takes 14 points of force damage. Halved is seven. Seven, yes. All right, I'm at negative five, bitches. <laughs> I'm still going to run, hoping that the butterfly or the moths will feast on her corpse. They, they will feast on her corpse, but the ones feasting on Desingio are done, so they're coming after you. Are they going to lay eggs, too? In your eye sockets. <laughs> Great. Great. <laughs> no, I find, yeah. uh, It's this set is... after uh, <coughs> Bazil uh, and you know what? Bazil or Rain, one of you roll a d12 against me. Oh, I want to. Okay. 12. What a way to end the night. 12 re roll. <laughs> oh, are you shitting me? I am not shitting you. He's not shitting you. Three. 11. Ha! Uh, you guys run like hell as they continue to feast on Click Click. Uh, you manage yeah. to run up the stairs and run out before the swarm can refocus. Uh, uh, let's see. So you came out of this with. A fifty gold piece necklace and lost two players. <laughs> oh, wait, I mean, was it the room it's less we have to spend on rooms at the end. Yeah, was it? Was it the main room on fire? 
Uh, no, uh, that was a confusion spell. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Yes. Nice. Fortunately, fortunately That's nice. You get the feeble mind. So, yes, the demonic flames were oh, again. As, the as soon as you were on about um, scrolls and books and uh, in, a tomb, in an orchid, no. Mm -mm. Did the moths eat the scroll that I found? You know what? That will be there for the next adventure. Brave enough to Along with your bones, your jars. <laughs> oh, you just and, and gotta the add a couple in your eye sockets. You're gonna have to add a couple of skeletons into your adventure, there, Frank. That's right. Uh, and Carol, some scorch marks. You, Carol, what'd you think? I think we're gonna have to discuss this whole spell thing because I'm pretty sure with Point Terra, you actually did allow it. So uh, we're gonna have two, to. Yeah, 279 episodes. No, I don't allow that. I'm yet. pretty pretty sure you did because I'm. Pretty sure I did a cantrip and a spell. I'll I'll ask. For I know later. I know I I know you called me out when I tried to do two spells, yep. two leveled spells. That I remember, and I was like, "Yeah, you're right," because that's I realized can't that do too. Two also, spells, according to D and D five e, yeah, you may you do, do a, a cantrip. cantrip. You can do a cantrip, but yeah, I've I think never the, done that. the theory. I think the theory is that that's not broken, but two leveled spells, if you're playing like a sorcerer, is too broken. Because yep. you can then start stacking it on and on and on. And if you're doing a warlock, two cantrips can be broken. That's hey, true. Hey, well, hey, but, but but you can't cast two cantrips either. But otherwise, oh, hold on, it was it was a good game. Uh, sorry guys, I don't I don't tend to I don't like to lose people, but um, unfortunately, okay. I just was. It's really a in. one shot. I know. So all these characters can just come back, yep. unless you're me, and I tend to retire characters that die in these one shots. Kaylee, what do you think? Uh, I did manage to take us all out, but fifty percent isn't bad. Yeah, it's okay. I didn't like the name I picked for mine anyway. So. <laughs> there was nothing wrong with there was nothing wrong with the name of your character. Nothing. Rob, what do you think? The oh, I song. had fun, but I just came to smash things and blast things. So shocker, uh, David. First it's time. Do player, every what'd you week. Think? It was fun. <laughs> so there you go, folks. Uh, sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. Guys, hey, and you know what? Half this fucking dungeon, you guys kick the shit out of each other. So I'm not even going to complain. <laughs> uh, folks, this has been Murder Hellboy Link, the one shot edition. Thanks for joining us. Follow us on Twitch, follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive if you want to shoot shit about DD. Join our Discord if you want to buy our cool crap. We've got the store. Uh, if, don't forget if you want to be on a one shot or on the Tuesday talk show and Hobo Inc. Twitter, Gmail. Uh, thank you, Pirate Dog Dice, for dice that the players should have used instead of me. Uh, and don't forget, uh, Musty Old Dungeon Smell is available. Uh, that's not what the name of it is, but Adventure Sense has a lot of it. Don't forget to check for their how to RPG with your cat as well as their shine system and if you want to help them out at gen con go right ahead uh they will pay you or give you some swag in return for all of us here at murder hobo inc don't forget to join us tomorrow for the margu disaster ah uh, there be will be 15 ish uh let's give them the big dating game kiss and wave everybody bye everybody <laughs>